Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the brand new intro that I just have on this video. Uh, now, obviously, I don't know if you guys are going to like this intro. I kind of just made it in the idea of just keeping sort of a minimalist vibe to it. Since my videos tend to be sort of minimalist, I'm not trying to, you know, be over hyper, and I'm not trying to, you know, uh, over exaggerate stuff that really is just basically straightforward information. So, Anyway, what I want to kind of ask you guys is, do you like the intro? And if you don't, then let me know what I can change in the comments below. I'll definitely try to work on something new. Um, but this is kind of what I came up with so far. I think it's kind of minimalist, nice, it relates to CSGO. It's kind of overall a fairly decent intro. So one more quick piece of news before we continue on to this video. I'm going to be drawing the M4A4 Dragon King at 12 p.m. on June 14th, 2019, Central Time. So you guys will probably know what uh, the winner of that nice little factory new dragon king is by the time this video goes live uh, i don't know who's won it obviously yet because i'm recording this sort of a day in advance it takes a really long time to render these videos and stuff like that so uh you know, have to keep that in mind but guys uh yeah hopefully you win it if you really want it good luck to you guys uh, i hope that someone who has sort of a lower end inventory ends up winning it because it'll kind of give them a chance to maybe start looking into investments and trade-ups and stuff like that. So it can kind of give them a nice little jump start. I didn't want to restrict the giveaway to people that had, you know, only lower tier inventories because I wanted to give everybody that's, you know, supported me an equal chance regardless of how expensive their inventory is. Obviously, someone with a lower, you know, cost inventory generally would be able to use it more, but I don't want to exclude anybody. And I just wanted to, by the way, thank you guys so much for all the nice comments that I, I got left on the giveaway video. Uh, made me feel super nice reading through all of those and like reading how much, you know, I've apparently helped you guys with videos and stuff like that. It makes me feel really, really good as a content creator and I'm just super happy that I've been able to make it to 50 subscribers in such a short period of time. So uh, that is about it for that little announcement, guys, and let's get on to this current video about key exchanging and key trading in general. So guys, without further ado, let's talk about keys. So we all know CSGO keys, obviously. If you play CSGO, you know what a CSGO key is. You know it goes for a pretty constant price of $2.49 on the Steam Marketplace. And uh, actually, with the recent uh, little increase spike that they had because of the weird currency problem, uh, they actually went all the way up to like $2.80 even on the Steam Marketplace. And uh, obviously, that was just for a short period of time, and they've kind of stabilized now. But generally, we all know keys is a nice $2.49 little liquid item that we can stock up on and then trade for nice items with. Now, what you probably didn't know is that there are keys that hold the same value as CSGO keys and generally the same demand as them, but they actually don't have a trade hold on them. And uh, that's pretty kind of a, you know, a big deal considering that a lot of people are complaining about the trade lock and a lot of people are complaining that it's a lot harder to make profit and almost impossible to make profit these days because of the trade lock of seven days. But uh, look no further than TF2 keys. These things have generally the same price as CSGO keys on the Steam Marketplace, generally the same demand, and they have no trade hold. So you can actually trade them instantly. So if you guys ever have wanted to try that nothing to a knife challenge, then definitely try to go for TF2 keys in this current era, because otherwise you're going to be waiting months and months and months to make even just a little bit of profit. Now, uh, the current exchange rate for TF2 keys to CSGO keys is 10 to 11. So basically, if you trade 10 CSGO keys, you can get 11 TF2 keys. I don't know why there is a slight uh, extra amount of TF2 keys uh, on the CSGO key exchange rate because, you know, they're generally valued at the same price with generally the same demand. So that part always kind of was a little bit confusing, but uh, I think it's maybe because people that play CSGO would rather want a CSGO key than a TF2 key. Uh, for crate openings and stuff like that. I think that's where the little bump in, you know, exchange rate happens. But yeah, guys, definitely look into TF2 keys if you want a more liquid inventory and a faster moving inventory than using the trade holded CSGO keys. And now for another Valve software game, we have Dota 2, Defense of the Ancients 2. So uh, basically what Dota 2 items have in relation to CSGO items is Arcanas and Dragonclaw hooks. Now obviously you can just trade Dota 2 items for CSGO items if someone wants Dota 2 items and has CSGO items, but uh, in general, something that a lot of CSGO traders are actually turning towards is getting Dota 2 items in the form of Dragonclaw hooks and Arcanas. Now you're probably wondering, why are these two items relevant to me, these two specific items in general? 
Well, the reason that is, is because in CSGO, you can have an inventory limit of only a thousand. That means your inventory can only have 1,000 total items in it before you're going to have to start deleting items to accept other ones. So obviously, you're going to want inventory space at some point if you become, you know, a very established trader. And for a lot of very established traders, uh, they already know about, you know, Dota 2 items and stuff like that. Now, if you're not an established trader, don't worry. With uh, more watching of my videos, you're going to become one. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> obviously, I don't know <laughs> if that's going to happen. It's up to you guys, and it's up to how you know, obviously, informative that I am. But I do hope that you guys eventually do become really great traders in the future. So, if you are going to become a really great trader, though, you're going to have to know how Dota 2 items work in relation to CS:GO items, and uh, how they work in relation to your inventory. So, the nice thing about Dota 2 items is that they hold a much higher value while still maintaining the same sort of liquidity and volume and demand as CSGO keys do. So the Dragon Claw hook from Dota 2 used by the character Pudge goes for about $650 roughly and uh, it's been actually increasing in price recently as well. So it's kind of fluctuating a slight amount but it's about $650 even and kind of around that price. So we'll keep that in mind. And Arcanas go for anywhere from like 20 to $60 in Dota 2. They're one of the rarest items in Dota 2, and also one of the most desirable ones. So, for that reason, they have a very, very, very high volume and a very, very high demand. Now, the nice thing is, you can actually turn your CSGO keys or CSGO items into Arcanas or into Dragon Claw hooks to free up a lot of inventory space for you in CSGO. So then you can just use the Dragon Glow hooks and the Arcanas to trade for CSGO items. A lot of high tier traders actually do this method because they can't hold so many keys in their inventory and they're trading for stuff like Black Pearl Karambits and Sapphire Bayonets and you know that kind of thing. And the whole thing here is uh, Dragon Claw hooks are actually super useful to them because they can turn their CSGO items into Dragon Claw hooks, freeing up their inventory space, and then uh, being able to trade for these high tier items using more expensive items uh, on in general, which is the Dota 2 items that I just talked about. So I'm obviously going to have some pricing up for the Dota 2 items that I just talked about. And uh, once you guys become high tier traders, if you aren't already, uh, then you can make sure you look into this because it could really help you with freeing up your inventory space and making sure you can get those high tier items that you really, really want. Now keep in mind, these items do have still really high demand. I'm not trying to, you know, give you an item that has lower demand. These items do have really high demand still, despite being rarer. And uh, for that reason, they are a very, very good item to hold on to. They're extremely liquid, and it's much better than having a whole ton of keys in your inventory, especially because CSGO keys only go for about $2.50. So you can't really buy a lot of high-tier items if you fill your entire inventory with CSGO keys. So guys, that is pretty much it for all of the Valve software games that are relevant to CSGO other than CSGO itself. So guys, here we are at the end of another video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I really do hope that it was informative and maybe helped you guys learn what it's like uh, when you need to kind of liquidate your items or if you need to trade your items faster. Hopefully this video is informative. Hopefully it's helpful to you in your trading journey and your investing journey. And uh, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to put a lot of effort into it like I do my other videos. And I'm going to obviously put a lot of effort into this channel because you guys have been blowing it up with support. I've made other YouTube channels before and uh, they've not gotten, you know, obviously this much support. But I also haven't, you know, done as much editing and, uh, and video brainstorming and stuff like that that I have for this channel. So uh, I really do hope, again, that you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you once again for all the support that you've been giving me. Uh, I really hope that we'll be able to get to 100 subscribers pretty soon. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be faster or slower than getting the 50 subs, but at the rate that we're growing right now, I think it is definitely in our range of possibility. So guys, uh, obviously leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you didn't enjoy this video, tell me in the comments what you didn't like about it and what I can improve for the future. Or maybe leave a request for a video that you want to see on this channel in the future. Uh, also, guys, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can never miss another video upload if I, you know, provide a really good investment opportunity that you need to get on quickly. Then you'll have the first dibs on it if you make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. So, guys, thank you so much again for watching, and I'm going to be signing out. Peace.